feel a little older, I feel a little wiser, feel a little older. Remember when Donald Trump said this? Under my administration, we're fighting against the lobbyists, the special interests, and the corrupt Washington politics. We are going to Washington, D.C., and we are going to drain the swamp. Mike. Cohen, the when he said a long time personal attorney Shh. made millions of dollars by shush so you remember when Donald Trump said we're gonna drain we're gonna drain drain <laughs> remember when he said that I mean it was uh, it's right up there with hope and change remember hopey changey remember Obama Mr. Hope and Change hope 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 Remember when Obama said hope? And then Trump said, hope he changey. No hope he changey. Let's drain the swamp. It's such a big, it's such a big catchphrase, right? When Trump said this shit, right? Because he got everybody very excited about that. We thought, <clears throat> we thought he was going to lock her up and all that shit, right? It's Trump. We're waiting for Hillary Clinton to get locked up for rigging the election against Bernie Sanders and 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 pumping him up as the Pied Piper, but has anything really changed? Has anything really changed? Well, some things have changed, actually. The Here's Trump saying this. Uh, Trump says he's going to lock him up. Trump's going after Comey, using the T-word, tree, and an S and an N, tree. Uh, nah. right? he's, he's looking to lock them up for high crimes and misdemeanors. Check this shit out. ...says treason is punishable by death. You've accused your adversaries of treason. Who specifically are you accusing of treason? Well, I think a number of people. And I think what you look is that they have unsuccessfully tried to take down the wrong person. If you look at Comey, if you look at McCabe, if you look at probably people, people higher than that, if you look at Strzok, if you look at his lover, Lisa Page, his wonderful lover, the two lovers, they talked openly. You know, they didn't use their private server because they didn't want to get caught. So they used the government server. That was not a good move. Uh, he talked about the insurance policy, just in case Crooked Hillary loses. And that didn't work out too well for them. So you look at them, uh, they want an insurance policy so that should she, for any reason, lose, remember? 100 million to one. Maybe he said 100 million to nothing. But should she lose, we'll have an insurance policy, and we'll get this guy out of office. And that's what they said, and that's what they meant. That's treason. That's treason. They couldn't win the election, and that's what happened. And that's what's happening right now, because without the treason word, I guess, but that's what's happening now. They don't feel they can win the election, so they're trying to do the thousand stabs. Keep stabbing. Let's have a financial. Let's have — and if you look, for $40 million, I would think, seriously, that Bob Mueller and his group of 18 killers have gone over my taxes, they've gone over my financial statements to a level that nobody has gone over them before, and they were not discussed even. They weren't even discussed or brought you up. You know what it is? It's almost comical to watch this kind of thing because if you – I mean, even in, in recent history, if a president of the United States would call the opposing party treasonists, and uh, 18 killers <laughs> as investigators, right? You call the FBI investigation. The FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation for the United States, 18 killers. It's just, it's unprecedented language, but it's, it's, it's an old fluff. Is Trump just flexing his muscles? He was going to lock her up, right? President of the United States, Imran Awan. You remember the, the spy ring in Congress? We told you all about that sh shit. We told you how... We told you about Seth Rich, how the, uh, the how the how the the evidence from from WikiLeaks from got uh, ultimately got to WikiLeaks from the DNC. We told you all that stuff, right? And uh, Hillary Clinton, you know, coming up with this idea of Russia did it, and then it, it snowballed into the FBI and Bill Clinton, right? We told you all about this shit, right? But did, she, did he lock her up? Did Hillary Clinton get locked up? Is Hillary Clinton? No, she's she's out selling books. And so is uh, James Comey. They're out there selling books, right? But they're treasonous, right? And the president of the United States can't do a damn thing about it, right? Is that what you're telling me? All right. So, so there's oh, there's this. This is good. This is Trump. Ah. Uh, 
There's too many jokes in this one, right? Yeah. Right there, he's bowing his ass, Trump checking out his ass. He's <laughs> look at look, this fucking Trump checking out a fat ass. I had so much comedy to that shit, right? This is this is our politics. It's a fucking shit show. It's a fucking circus, right? Here's uh, this is this is fighting words, right? I'm just gonna point out the fighting words, and I'm gonna tell you about. Here's Trump. Trump is draining the swamp, right? But he's he's getting rid of. He's going after Comey. He's going after Strzok and Page, his lover, right? And Hillary's Hillary Hillary's not in the vocabulary anymore. We already know that there was an outrageous amount of corruption that took place uh, at the FBI. They leaked information. They lied. Uh, they were specifically working, trying to take down the president, trying to hurt the president. We'll leave the the final call up to the attorney general and he'll get to the bottom of it but we think americans deserve the truth so he the doesn't president's asked for that and we should expect nothing less so the president is not going to accept exoneration if that's what bill barr finds look i'm not going to get ahead of what uh the final conclusion is but we already know this is just sleepy sleepy chuck todd from mdc or whatever uh trying to muddy the waters trying to trying to say that that uh, Trump is is already already uh, uh, you know being judge and jury against Comey saying he's guilty, but we, we already know that there's a ton of evidence that suggests that these guys were uh, were, were very very crooked and very biased that there was a high level of corruption that was taking place. Uh, we've seen that in there, the ID investigation that's already is happened. But there's a yet. lot more there that we still need to know, and we're going to let the attorney general do his job. Well, it sounds like you're not. That's my point. It doesn't sound like you want him to do his job. It sounds like you've the president has already determined the outcome. No, there's already there's evidence already on the table. You idiot. You fool. You corporate hack. Chuck, that's the reason that he's granted the attorney general the authority uh, to declassify that information. To because NBC didn't get what they wanted with the with the uh, Mueller report, right? Mueller's report, right? It didn't go their way. So now, William Barr is is uh, you know is is everything that William Barr does is is wrong, is ass backwards, and now he's the uh, private attorney for Donald Trump. That's that's how that's now NBC's position. To look at all the documents necessary is so that we can get to the very Just, bottom of what happened. Once again, we already know about some wrongdoing. The president's not wrong in that, but he wants to know everything that happened and how far and how wide it went. Does we he know expect, that there was corruption. Let's see. Does he expect criminal charges? Does he expect he's accused James Comey of treason? Does he expect Jim Comey to be arrested? Again, we're going to let the attorney general make that determination as he gets to the conclusion of this investigation. So the president and but we he's certainly not going expect to accept the people that were responsible is, and that is, were part of this out uh, unprecedented uh, obstruction and corruption at the FBI. Those people should certainly be held responsible and be held accountable. And the president expects that to take place. So you got to lock them up, right? I mean, it's it's so obvious, right? But what what it. So, so we agree on that. I mean, I, I think that look, the the they're they're now running scared, right? All the Comey, McCabe, and uh, Strokes, and all that, right? The, uh, Clapper and and Brandon, they know they fucked up. They know they rigged the election. Loretta Lynch, probably Obama is now shitting and got a turd in his pants, right? A little bit, right? Maybe a little turd run down his leg, because he knows that they're coming for him, right? They're coming, they're coming after him, right? But what's what's are they really going to come after him? That's the point. Have we, we've already seen this chapter. We've already heard this tune. We've already heard, heard this. This is like a repeat of the song. This is like watching, watching reruns because for, for two years, Trump's going to lock him up. Uh, fucking lock him up, right? He's going to lock him up. But whatever happened to that? Nothing ever happens, right? Nothing ever happens. Right? It never happens, right? I call it, what's his face? Fucking Mueller's going to lock everybody up. And, and, and the real culprits are the... The people that started this whole shit in 2016, in March, April, May of 2016, in the bowels of the Clinton Foundation and the Clinton, the Clinton campaign. So, so Trump, 
so Trump, so let's say, let's go one step further. Trump drains the swamp. He drains the swamp. You remember, he's going to drain the swamp, right? And now, what is he replacing the swamp with? This jack off, right? So let's look. Let's look at the, let's look at the current John Bolton, right? So headline, John Bolton says, Iran is seeking nuclear arms. <clears throat> really? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I want to go over here. I think I want to go over here. I think I want to go over here. All right, so attacks on four tankers. Here's the headline. John Bolton says, UAE, the uh, Ur- U- United Emirates, Arab Emirates, right? It's a little country off the tip of Saudi Arabia. Tanker attacks were almost certainly from Iran. That's what he said to the press. Almost certainly from Iran. Now, this is the same guy that says... We have a humanitarian crisis in in uh, in Venezuela, right? He's saying that uh, that uh, you know him and Pompeo, right? They're tooting the they're touting the horns of war in Venezuela. They did it in in Syria, right? Yemen. They pulled. They told. They got Trump to pull the pull the uh, the the, uh, the he vetoed the to end the war in Yemen, right? So this that's who this guy is. This guy's a creep, right? Guy's a war monger. Call him what he is. He's a war man, war mustache man. Right? Attacks on four tankers off the United Arab Emirates coast of Ujjujja earlier this month are almost are most likely the work of Iran. <laughs> U.S. National Security Advisor said Wednesday. I think it is clear. Quote: I think it is clear these tanker attacks were naval mines, almost certainly from Iran. Bolton told reporters in Abu Dhabi, though he declined to add details or evidence (laughs) for the claim. He's just saying shit. He said, oh, yeah, it's Iran. Iran officials were not immediately available to comment, but had previously denied involvement and called for an independent program. So they're poking. They're poking. They're poking, right? You create create a FF, right? You create a a flag, a, a nice shiny object. Oh, fucking Iran. They, they're, they're attacking the oil ships off of the, off of the, you know, off of the fucking, you know, the African peninsula, whatever. Right? They're, they're making shit up, right? And Bolton is leading the charge, right? So all the major media is covering this one. This is the Bolt. This is the swamp, right? This is Trump. Trump is going to go after Comey, McCabe, and, and Strokes, and and Brennan and Obama and Loretta Lynch, but that's like that's like here. Look at this hand, but in this hand, man, what do I got? Here's right here. Look at this hand, but this is the hand I punch with. Right, fucking here, and I fucking punch you in the face with this one, right? That's what Trump's doing. Hey, take this. You want to fucking punch you in the face, right? That's what he's doing. Right? He's he's giving us he's giving us he's he's removing one shit sandwich and replacing it with the other. Now, okay, yeah, get rid of the shit sandwich, right? We, we saw the corruption, right? If any of their heads ever roll, I, I highly doubt it. But here we go, right? So no evidence, no evidence. He's touting the war drum. He's accusing a country of, of, uh, of blowing up oil tankers and trying to disrupt trade. Really? Where's the evidence? You don't have any nothing. They gave he gives us nothing on this whole thing, right? So there was one other piece, right? So um, oh, seeking yeah, and he's accusing Iran of seeking nuclear arms too. Fucking guy, they should they just they should lock this guy up. Trump should throw and then and don't say it's don't say it's Bolton leading the way. Bolton is hired by Trump. He's Trump's national security advisor. So don't don't. Support don't hide, have allow Trump to hide behind Bolton's fucking apron or whatever. You know what I'm saying, right? Trump is leading the charge. Trump can fire this fucking troll, right? And he doesn't, no, because because that's what he wants, right? So Trump National Security Advisor on Wednesday said uh, there was no reason for Iran to back out of its nuclear deal with world powers other than to seek atomic weapons. I... <laughs> Now think about that. Iran just decided to pull out of that that deal that the U.S. pulled out of a year ago, right? And now this he's accusing Iran of pulling out because they want to get bomb, they want to get weapons. But meanwhile, meanwhile, the United States left them high and dry. The, the Iran nuclear deal, right? They Trump pulled out of it, right? And and they were the the United States was the was the foundation of the deal, 
right? And now the United States pulls out, and it's now it's a shit deal. It's, a, it's garbage. So Iran decides to pull out of it as well. Right? So, so now Bolton turns around. You, it's the mafia. You, you, you create the problem, and then you, you try to step in and fix it. Right? And here, what he's doing, he's turning around and, turning around and accusing Iran of seeking weapons. John Bolton, a uh, long hawk on Iran, also claims without offering evidence that the alleged sabotage of four oil tankers off the coast of the United Emirates came from Navy mines placed almost certainly by Iran. Right? So he's doubling down on it. But just the audacity right there. You saw the audacity to, <clears throat> to pull, out of one, pull out of a deal, leave the, um, the uh, other parties in the deal high and dry, and then when the, the high and dry parties decide to back out, of the deal, because the deal is shit, you turn around and accuse them of, of, of harboring weapons. <laughs> That's what you're doing. So, so did Trump drain the swamp? <clears throat> Has Trump drained a fucking, a, a, you know, a, a drop of swamp fluid out of the swamp? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I think if, if there was a swamp to be drained, it should have been, it should have been quickly and, and uh, smoothly go after the corruption. We know what a corruption is. It's election fraud, right? We saw it. We saw it. It started in, but you can't go after the old, the other party, right? Because you like that election fraud. You like that shit. You like the gerrymandering. You like the voter suppression. And don't you, Donald Trump? You, you like that shit. You like the way it is right now because it serves you. And that's the mentality we have to get out of, right? We have politicians that that work in their own interests, right? Like, see if if this thing was if it was in Trump's best interest to to call out election fraud, call it what it is, right? Purging of votes, exit polls not matching, machines rigged, gerrymandering, all that stuff, right? Uh, you know, uh, collusion with between a, uh, a party, a political party and the major media, quid pro quo, taking piles of money and, and offering favors out the back door. Right? If, any, if Trump was interested in any of that, getting rid of any of that, he would have locked up the culprits, certainly, certainly John Podesta, certainly Hillary Clinton, certainly Comey, McCabe, right? Well, Brennan, Fal Brennan, these guys have lied so many times to Congress, so many, so many lies into the, uh, have placed into the, into the, uh, the mind stream. It's, they're, they're more, almost uncountable. So, so I guess we're draining the swamp, right? I guess, I guess this is what Trump's doing. Marcus Conti reporting, finally become a, uh, Patreon of the channel, and uh, maybe make a PayPal contribution. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Marcus Conti reporting.